Hi guys, I'm Darren and in this video a quick tip about charging. So before we get into this video, nothing in this video has been provided for me. I've bought it all myself. It's not a paid review or any of that sort of stuff. This is actually for a product that Luke Atabato made me aware of and works so well I wanted to share it on the channel. And it's all about chargers and easy access for batteries. So let's have a quick history lesson. We used to use chargers like this which are old like LCD displays, but it came with these really useful long leads with power connectors and balance cables. What we get these days are chargers that look more like this, where everything is flush along the front edge. Now this isn't so bad for the main battery leads, they're usually quite long, but on a lot of batteries, for example, on this quad pack, the balance lead is quite short and that actually makes it a bit awkward to get in. If you've got to get it on the table, you've got to plug your main lead in, then you've got to sort of bend the battery round to get your balance lead in. It's a bit of a pain. So these things, these are really useful. Now, this is something that I used to do with regular balance leads and uh, Luke also used to use regular balance leads. But the problem with a regular balance lead is it's a complete square other than like a slit at the end and a slit at the other end because they're made for the number of pins in there. So this is a seven pin, it's made for a 6S pack. So with a 6S you would have one slot at the end and one slot at the other end. Whereas if you want to use different size packs, you would need to cut it down. Speedy B have actually brought this out. This is basically a balance lead. You'll see that there's actually individual slots. So this end here, we have a single slot, then a bigger gap. Now this is the, the negative end. This is always the same on all battery packs. Then as we go this way, we go towards the extreme end, which is like the last positive. So with this excess pack, for example, you'll see that the little tabs are in the first one for the negative end and also underneath the main sort of red positive cable. Now, obviously, if we're using a 3S pack, it would slot in there, 4S pack and so on and so on. So with this, it's it's actually really convenient and really easy to use different size packs. And all you do is plug this into your charger. So you'd have one in each side. So now your charger looks like this. Now when you plug in your main lead, you've got plenty of cable here to plug your balance lead in. Now one thing I will say about this is this is a really good idea, but it's not perfect. These wires are quite stiff. It would be nicer if they were like silicone or something like that, a bit more flexible. But other than that, they work really well. The other thing is, I believe they only got up to 6S. So I don't know if you can get an 8S version for bigger chargers, but still, this helps quite a bit. And if you did want to make extensions for your XT60, then of course that's easy enough to do it anyway. And actually for some packs, we use extensions anyway, because this one is XT60 to XT30. So you plug that in and now we have two decent length cables to attach our batteries to. Nice and easy. Now, of course, if you're using a parallel charge board, this isn't really relevant, but personally, I've moved away from them. I don't think they're safe enough. I've had instances where one battery on a parallel charge board, even if it's all set up right, so all the same batteries, all the same voltage, uh, set up correctly, if one of the cells drop, it's not enough for the charger to detect it and then stop charging. And I actually had to sort of run outside of a battery. So I don't parallel charge anymore. I put each battery on their own individual output so the charger can monitor them properly. But um, but yeah, if you're, if you're charging like this, this is a great little product. So I'll put a link in the video description. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also remember to click the like and subscribe button. This will help get this video out to more people. But also I'm hoping to start making more videos more regularly in the future again. And if something else pops up that you might find interesting, you'll get an alert for it. So thank you for watching guys. See you on the next one.